Sanford. I'm still salty. He's in the fucking hole. Sanford's trying to space him out because he doesn't want to play that dog at close range, that's for sure. Right now, I, I like to call this the uh, smooth viper strategy. You mean turtle all day when you have health advantage? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Ooh, drops a crucial combo, and he's still alive. I've never seen anyone lame out uh, X factors like smooth viper does. Exactly. Like his keep away, like you have to respect it because he knows what he's doing when he's doing it. He knows when to attack and he knows when to just keep pushing you back. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay, because she gets an air throw with X Factor. Magneto is probably cool. Resets. Magneto dies. Because she looks at his stick. <laughs> and we got I do love how there's no combo. such thing as a drop combo in this game. Exactly. It's actually uh, similar to melee in the sense that uh, you gotta tech chase your opponent. If you know where they're gonna air tech, there's a uh, there's almost guaranteed ways that you can punish them for that. But you have to you have to know where they're gonna tech. Oh. Sanford, yeah, not much health left. All right, going right back into it. Sanford trying to play keep away again. This style of, of Magneto looks very Marvel 2-esque. Very fast. But Kushi gets a hit. Full combo. Ooh, into another one. All right. Oh, third one doesn't uh, has too much hit stun. DHC just to get uh, Magneto out, get some life back. Ooh, tricky teleports. He goes for an air throw right there. See, Sanford knows that when the drones hit, he wants to get an air throw after because he can't really convert on the ground from drones with Wesker. Ooh, good cancel by Chris G. And Magneto's gonna get hit, yep. I just saw a lot of me that get burned in the past five seconds. Yeah, definitely. But uh, it ended with Chris G killing Magneto. Sure you can. Ooh, X Factor, X Factor. Sam forgets to grab. See? Big damage. Damn. Those air hits just did way more than the ground hits. Alright, this that was a good uh good sentinel calls. It looks like Sanford messed up. These are good these are actually really good Rusker dittoes right now. Oh, he backs up. He was reading a forward tech instead of a back tech. And he reads that one. Random level three. Oh my god. I didn't even think because he says he didn't even mean to do that, but it worked. That's the power of random, folks. Alright. I don't know if it's the same thing. It's probably not the same thing in 2D fighters, 
But in 3D Fighters, some of the hardest matchups are against players who don't know how to play. Yeah, exactly. I felt that in, in this game as well as... Uh, you even feel that in 2D? In, in some other 2D games. In, in 3D games, you can at least predict what the opponent's going to do and you know prepare your defense based on it. But people who don't know how to play, they're just so random. They're There's so no way random. to predict yeah, exactly. anything. Especially in this game, the fact that you can be random and score a hit is really detrimental to the player who's playing smart. Because if you get hit, you can die just for that. So, I mean, at first, I thought this game would never be consistent just simply because of that. Because the damage is so high and, like, any random hit, your character will die for it. But, I don't know, it seems like some players are more consistent anyway. Fishu looks like he's gonna kill Magneto. Awesome DLC. Now he's got Ryu in. Let's see what setup he's got. Ooh, comes in on the other side. Goes for the overhead. Sanford sees it. says, get out, Ryu. Ooh, ooh, those are some tricky mix-ups. That was really nice. Really good Wesker play. What's the score at right now? 2-0? Uh, yeah. 2-0 press G. Those Wesker footsies. And Chris G lands his hit. Now we've got Sanford Sentinel. Just and not having this X Factor oh is my really going to hurt behind. them. Chris G with the tricky hits takes it. A new world Sanford is upset. I would be too.